Hello, good morning. Minoxidil boosters. Doctor, I have heard there is a booster for minoxidil. What is it? Will it work better? Is it safer? Will it avoid the side effects? Is it a cure? The patients have started asking these questions. And to answer these questions, I am Dr. Venkat Ram Mysore, dermatologist, hair transplant surgeon, Venkat Center for Skin, ENT and Plastic Surgery, Vijayanagar, Banashankari, Cunningham Road, Bangalore. Minoxidil is an old drug. 1976, it was there when I was in medical college. It has got an established place in the management of baldness. It works well and it is quite cheap also. But there are a lot of misconceptions and patients are not keen on taking it. What are these? Patients say that it causes itching. Patients say it leads to flakiness, dryness of hair, difficult to comb the hair and then they say it causes hair loss and then they think that if you stop it all the hairs will go away. And finally some patients say sir it didn't work for me. The objective of this video is to look at these issues and also discuss what are minoxidil boosters. It is true that some brands of minoxidil can cause dryness and flakiness and dry, uh, itching. But to overcome this there are watery preparations, gel preparations, foam preparations. So they can be taken care of. It is true that in the early part of the treatment first 2-3 weeks there is some amount of hair loss. But this is temporary and it happens with all treatments for hair loss. Why? Because hair has got a cycle. Growth, rest and fall and then growth again. So if a hair has to grow, the shaft has to fall and the root has to produce a new hair. So in the first 2-3 weeks, you may notice some hair loss. This is temporary. It is only the shaft which is falling. There is nothing to worry about. We always tell our patients about it. Nobody should stop minoxidil because of this issue. Then some people say, Sir, minoxidil didn't work for me. Yes, minoxidil works only for about 50 to 60 percent of patients. Why doesn't it work for everybody? There are two, three reasons for it. One is that the root may be too weak to respond. Once the stem cells have come down by 50-60%, drugs don't work that well. That is why you have to start the treatment early. The second reason may be, there are what are called non-responders. Minoxidil non-responders. What are non-responders? For some reason, the body doesn't metabolize the drug properly and so the hairs don't respond. What does this mean? Minoxidil doesn't work by itself. It has to become another compound called minoxidil sulfate. The hair has an enzyme to convert minoxidil to its active form. If the person doesn't contain that enzyme, he doesn't have the enzyme or he has low quantities of enzyme, minoxidil will not be converted to its active form. Then it cannot work. These patients are called minoxidil non-responders. What to do for them? One solution is to use what are called minoxidil boosters. What are these minoxidil boosters? One way is to use another chemical with it. There is a drug called retinoic acid which is combined with minoxidil. This was tried a few years back but it caused a lot of irritation and dryness. So it didn't become popular. Next one is to do what is called derma roller. Along with minoxidil you also keep doing derma roller which increases the level of the enzyme. But it is a little painful process. So again, not many patients like it. Now there is a new method wherein there is a chemical which is added to minoxidil 
to alter the acidity levels within the cell which enhances the enzyme thereby converting minoxidil to its active form. This is also one minoxidil booster that is being released shortly and we have to see whether it will act better. Since patients had already started asking, I felt we should communicate to you about this drug. Will this be a cure for baldness? Please understand, there is no drug which is a cure for baldness in the world. All drugs act as long as you take them. Hair transplantation is the only permanent solution for baldness. All drugs need to be continued. How long to be continued? As long as it is needed. How long is that? Is it lifelong? It varies from person to person. It depends upon the activity, stability, genetics, environmental factors, stress levels. All these decide about the progression of baldness and that decides how much, how long minoxidil is needed. Will minoxidil be enough alone? Will one drug be enough? Please understand, a balding head has got different types of hair. Hairs which are strong, hairs which are weak, hairs which are very weak, hairs which have disappeared. All these different types of hairs will not respond to one treatment. It is like diabetics. Somebody needs diet, somebody needs tablets, somebody needs insulin. Like that, each type of hair needs a different drug. So, every patient needs a combination approach. You may need minoxidil, you may need PRP, some people may need finasteride, etc. How long to take it? Is it lifelong? Then why take it? This is another question. You should not view it like that. Baldness progression as I explained to you just now is very variable. So, take it for couple of years. Then we will see, we will analyze and then decide whether to take it or not. So now to summarize, minoxidil is a very good drug, safe drug, cheap drug, a drug with excellent evidence. But minoxidil may cause some itching, dryness, flakiness, etc. To overcome this, we have solutions. Some people may not be able to metabolize it properly, so may not be good responders, they may be poor responders. For them, we now have minoxidil boosters. And finally, every patient of baldness needs combination treatment with multiple therapies to take care of hair in different levels of weakness. This has to be understood. There is a lot of misconception. In many places, they actually discourage minoxidil, which is not correct. It's a good drug, it should be used. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked it, share it. Visit our website, venkatcentral.com for further information. And make sure that you consult a qualified dermatologist with training in trichology. Thank you very much. Best wishes.